Hi, I'm Carolyn Cable. Today we're in studio with Hollywood makeup artist. She's also a licensed esthetician and we also have a beautiful model. You are here today to do a makeup look, a sort of a makeover, a mini makeover for home. Let me just tell you that our model is prepped and camera ready, which basically means that she started with the foundation. Mm -hmm. and do you have powder on her? We have powder, we have some blush, and we have an eye base. Before we get into the makeup, I brought some department store makeup. Okay. And I wanted to ask you the difference between department store makeup and drugstore makeup because obviously these products are very expensive compared to what they would be for mm -hmm. drugstore. And I have heard that certain brands like Estee Lauder owns um, Maybelline. Maybe it's not Estee Lauder and Maybelline, but I've heard that the big companies own the smaller companies. They just want you know, to get the whole market. Estee Lauder is um, is the parent company to most drugstore brands. Pressed powder versus loose powder. Let me tell you a little quick story. I do a reoccurring role on Days of Our Lives. The head makeup woman, her name is Gail, and she's won all kinds of Emmys for her makeup. And we were talking about powder one day. I was working um, a couple weeks ago, and I brought up again about the powder because I get my pressed powder from a famous like uh, Hollywood makeup store so that it, it, you can wear it during the day outside, but you can also wear it on camera. Mm -hmm. And she had told me that you really don't want to use pressed powder. You want to use very fine milled you yes. Know. So she gave me hers, and I, of course I feel like, oh wow, <laughs> I have Emmy Award winning makeup on. This is, a, I'm not going to say the brand name, but this goes on wet. It has a wet feel to it, mm -hmm. and I mean it's, it's very light, so it doesn't uh, cake on you, mm -hmm. which is very nice. And then it comes obviously with its own little brush, which you're going to have to tell me about cleaning brushes Absolutely. and stuff. Absolutely, which is very important to do. How important is it um, to have a loose powder and to have an expensive loose powder that's very fine compared to having... The is powder it is generally where, if you were going to spend your bulk of your money, you mm -hmm. would spend on your powder. If you just are really happy with your eye shape, <laughs> what would <laughs> you do? Just have fun. <laughs> then sky's the limit. If you, you know, for actors who you know they must go out and look good at all times. Mm -hmm. that, that's like the general rule that people tell you: go out and look good. Look like if somebody sees you. You know, you don't want to really run out without your makeup on, but you want something just like... Maybe a lot of people don't know this, but um, a lot of times on set, the makeup artist will ask the actor to do the mascara themselves. And, um, you know, it's no problem. Quickly do it. Is there a reason for that? Some um, I like it because then I don't get poked in the eye. You know? Being poked in the eye, a comfort thing. Mm -hmm. They can do it quicker, and sometimes they just... It's weird to have somebody that close to your eye when... Because inevitably you know you just get like little spots and it's okay and that's hard to avoid let me tell you thank you thank you